Coming up on Around Kern County, it's Public Service Recognition Week. We're sharing how our workforce is making a difference and how you can join our team. And the Oildale community is celebrating a new installation. Meet the faces of the Oildale Wall of Fame when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. We're kicking off today's show by celebrating our workforce in honor of Public Service Recognition Week. During this week's board meeting, supervisors honored our employees with this important proclamation. From the maintenance workers like Freddie and Lisa here in this building, to public defenders like Robin Walters, and sheriff deputies like Deputy Boyles, out at the East Bakersfield South facility. Our government employees work tirelessly every day to make our community a better place for all of us. Through wildfires, earthquakes, and even worldwide pandemics, our amazing county employees show up to their job sites ready to serve our neighbors in Kern County. This national campaign is designed to highlight the accomplishments of the dedicated public servants who work to provide essential services to communities across the country. Our Kern County workforce of nearly 8,000 people touches the lives of our residents daily, from public safety to behavioral health. We'd like to honor the accomplishments of our county employees who serve our community on a daily basis. We believe there is no more meaningful work or better place to make an impact than serving your community through local government. If you would like to join our team, please visit our website at kerncounty.com slash careers. Oildale is celebrating some of its community success stories with a new installation known as the Oildale Wall of Fame. Their district supervisor, Jeff Flores, has carried out this project that was started by his predecessor, Mike Maggard, to honor the achievements of people from Oildale who have made a big difference in our world. This year, Buck Owens, Kevin Harvick, and Merle Haggard were honored, which Flores says he hopes will be an inspiration to all residents in Oildale that anything is possible. So today we're out here in Oildale on North Chester in the Business Corridor to celebrate the unveiling of the Oildale Wall of Fame and our first three inductees, Merle Haggard, Buck Owens, and Kevin Harvick. These three individuals really personify the, the spirit of Oildale in terms of no matter what the adversity they encountered, uh, through hard work, through grit, through determination, they persevered and they were such a success and today we're honoring the rich cultural legacies of these three. If you'd like to check out the Wall of Fame for yourself, just head north on Chester Avenue and stop north of Norris Road. Summer is right around the corner and Kern County Public Works wants to help you get ready for the season. Anna Marie Odo has how you can keep your home safe. Kern County Public Works is hosting several upcoming bulky waste collection events to help our community get rid of unwanted household bulky items, such as appliances, mattresses, and barbecue grills. Beginning this Saturday, May 13th, you can get rid of your bulky waste from 8 in the morning until 12 noon in Bakersfield at Meadows Field International Terminal, Kern Medical, or the Kern County Fairgrounds as well as Saturday, May 20th in Lake Isabella at Thomas Refuse Service. All of these events are in partnership with the Cesar Chavez Environmental Corps, Varner and & Son, and Lamont Sanitation. You can find more information about what items are considered bulky waste and view other upcoming drop-off events at kernpublicworks.com. And if you're also ready to get rid of your hazardous waste, Public Works is holding five collection events throughout the month of May. Beginning this Saturday, May 13th, Public Works will hold a collection event at the Kern Valley Transfer Station from 9 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon, and also at the Ridgecrest Special Waste Facility from 10 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon. You can also get rid of your waste on Saturday, May 20th at the Tehachapi Recycling and Sanitary Landfill, Saturday, May 27th at the Lebec Transfer Station, and Saturday, May 27th at the Ridgecrest Special Waste Facility. You're encouraged to drop off anything that could be considered dangerous if lying around your homes, such as cleaning products, pesticides, and other chemicals. 
As a reminder, hazardous waste can always be dropped off at Kern County's permanent special waste facilities located in Bakersfield, Mojave, and Ridgecrest. For more information on these collection events, please visit kernpublicworks.com. And did you know this week is National Pet Week? We're ending today with how you can make a difference in the lives of our Kern County animals looking for a home. This Saturday, May 13th, Kern County Animal Services is partnering with the City of Bakersfield Animal Care Center and Best Friends Animal Society for the first ever Best Friends Fest, a one-day adoption event with the goal of finding homes for 250 dogs and cats. From 10 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon, adoption fees will be waived at all Kern County Animal Services in City of Bakersfield Animal Care Center locations. As a reminder, you can always adopt a pet from our local animal shelters. I did, and it's changed my life for the better. For more information about this event and how to adopt a pet any day of the week, please visit kerncountyanimalservices.org. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you next time.